Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a Nest thermostat for boiler systems. This version of the Nest thermostat is called the Nest Learning Thermostat, and it will work with boiler systems that have only two wires, or if you've got a boiler system with three wires, it should work with that as well. So the first thing that we need to do to get our new Nest thermostat installed for our boiler system is turn off the power to the boiler system so it is completely off and powered down. Typically, you're going to find a light switch near the boiler or maybe on the side of the boiler wherever you see that electrical connection coming in. Once you've turned that off, you can then safely work on the thermostat once you confirm that power is off. If you can't find the power near the boiler, then turn that off at the circuit breaker itself. So now that we've got the power off, we're ready to remove the existing thermostat. Typically, you're going to find maybe somewhere you can pry these off on the sides or the bottom or the top. On ours, uh, it comes off from the bottom, but you might just want to inspect it so that you can remove that faceplate. Now that we've got our faceplate removed, before we do anything else, we want to make sure that we get a really good shot of the existing wiring configuration. So our current boiler system has an R wire, this red wire, and a W1 wire, which is this white wire. The R wire is for power, and typically you're going to see it jumpered a lot of times. That does not matter for the new Nest thermostat. It won't need that jumper wire. We just need to see where that R wire is, and it's in the RH, or power for heat. Our W wire or white wire is in W1, and that is our call for heat for the boiler system. So we've got our call for heat here and our power to the thermostat right here in our RH. Take a picture of this, and then we're going to remove those wires and remove the thermostat from the wall. Now that we've got our existing wires removed, we're ready to install the base plate for the Nest thermostat. So just slide it in place and then we're going to screw it into the wall. Now we've got our Nest thermostat base plate installed. Now you should screw it in with two screws. I'm just not trying to make more holes in my wall than I need to because I make a lot of these videos. Uh, but secure it with two screws and then you can level it out. There's a little mini bubble level right there. Now what's nice about the Nest Learning Thermostat, which is a older version of the Nest Thermostat, is that it typically does not require a common wire in order to work with boiler systems. Got all kinds of resources on what a common wire is and how to install that, but for most boiler systems with the Nest Learning Thermostat, which is an older generation, it doesn't require that common wire, that C wire, in order to operate, whereas some of the newer smart thermostats do require a C wire in order to operate with a boiler system. Now, for installation, all we're going to do is take our wires and put them in the proper terminals. So we've got our white wire, our W1 wire, that's going to go in the W1 terminal up here, press down and push the wire in. And then we've got our power terminal, that's our RH or RH wire, and that's going to go in our RH terminal down here at the bottom, push in. And now we've got both of our wires installed, so we're ready to take our Nest Learning Thermostat and just put it onto the base. It will snap in place here. Now we're ready to power up this smart thermostat by going back down to our boiler system and turning the power on. So I'm gonna do that right now. We powered up the system and you can see it's starting up. Now our smart thermostat is ready to be set up. You can make selections by rotating the dial and then you press down here at the bottom to select your item. It's kind of like a toggle switch. When you press down here on the bottom, it will make that selection. So I'm gonna make that selection English and then I'm going to click on equipment. We're going to click homeowner and it says equipment detected, power and heat. And that's what a boiler system has. So we're going to click continue, heating, continue. Now we've got a gas boiler. So I'm going to click yes. 
we've got radiator systems. Now we're going to click on the Nest app. It says add your account. You'll be able to control the thermostat remotely and use additional features. Click continue. It says use a recent version of the Nest app to get started. Use the entry key or QR code below. So now we're gonna switch over to our phone and get this set up. If you haven't already done so, download the Nest app and set up a username and password. Click sign in. Now we're going to click continue. Enter the Google account you wanna use with your Nest account. Click next. Now enter your password and you'll need to complete your verification once you enter your password. Now we'll need to click allow. Now we're logged into the Nest app and all we're gonna do is click add a product. It says Nest would like to access the camera. We're going to click okay. And for now, I'm just going to say continue without scanning. Here, we're going to click on Nest thermostat. Now we're installing the Nest Learning thermostat and you'll know because it has this metal ring on the outside. None of the other thermostats have the metal ring. The Nest E has a plastic ring and the Nest Thermostat E with heat link does not have any kind of metal ring either. So we're going to click on this option right here at the top. Now we've already installed this, so I'm going to click right here. Now it says, which Nest thermostat are you setting up? We're setting up the third generation Nest thermostat or third generation Nest learning thermostat. And if you recently bought it from the store, it's most likely going to be a third generation. So click that right there. Now all we're gonna do is click entry key over here. So we need to make that selection. Now we take the entry key that is shown on the thermostat itself and we enter it right here on the app. Now click enter. Now we're going to select this. Connecting to our thermostat. Now we need to select our Wi-Fi network. Enter your password. Click next. Connecting and setting up Wi-Fi. It says our nest has been added. Finishing up, click next. Now we can say where are we gonna put this thermostat and I'm just gonna call this family room. Now we're going to click next, click next, and we're going to click continue over here. And it says your system is ready to test. We're going to test it later. Once the thermostat is set up, it goes right back here to the home screen and you can click on this and it's going to allow you to control your Nest thermostat. So currently the heat is set to 71 in our home, but the temperature is 75. If I wanted to turn on my thermostat or turn it up, I just click right here. And now that boiler will be set at 78 degrees. You can see it turns orange over here and here, meaning that our boiler is on. So now our setup of our Nest thermostat is complete with our boiler system. If you wanna learn more about how to use your Nest thermostat and how to schedule it, we've got videos in the description below that will show you exactly that. If you wanna learn more about common wires or if you have another style of Nest thermostat, also check in the description below because we've got a lot of videos on this thermostat and how to connect it for heating and cooling and for different heating and cooling systems. So thanks for watching this video. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any links below if you wanna support us. Thank you.